so I, th I think it's interesting to, to, uh, to know the reasons why you go international. Uh, and um, I experienced uh, that uh, some of the reasons often is that you outgrown your market or you're taking on board investors that uh, want, want to push the company forward uh, or simply because you are an entrepreneur that uh, have great plans and, and want to become very successful. Or these are the categories that I've met at least. I don't know if you can add on a few, but uh, yes, please. Vertical market. Sorry? Vertical market. Yeah, of course. Which is what we are. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, the Danish market is simply not big enough for us. Mm, yeah. So that could be a fourth one. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but uh, I have to say also that I, I agree with a lot of things Michael said here b before and, uh, and, and, and things uh, seem to, um, uh, the things that Michael talks about, I, I think perhaps also is, is very uh, important when, when, think, when thinking of a, a communication strategy. Okay. <coughs> So I've tried to put together some basic stuff uh, that I f found useful. And, uh, and, and uh, when, uh, when doing plans, I always try to do plans in like three steps. And that is analysis, goal, and strategy. Uh, of course, very basic, but I, I think it's always working for me, at least. And, um, and uh, like Michael said before, it's... Um, there are so many markets, so uh, I think it's good to start to, to, uh, to uh, identify the most prioritized one so, uh, and, and start to work with that. So I think it's very, very, very important to, to find out which market to actually f focus on. Also, you need to do uh, a resource inventory uh, <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, making uh, communication involves a lot of people and money, of course. So uh, uh, it's good to know who's going to work with this and uh, what money do we have to spend on this and uh, what, what kind of collaboration partners do we have, agencies and so forth. And the most important thing uh, that is very easy to forget, actually, is get to know your target group on that specific market. So do a lot of good research before you start to communicate with those uh, uh, because that's very ver valuable. Also, of course, look at the local competitors and other stakeholders. Uh, and uh, when you've done your, your analysis and, and, and research, go for the uh, goal definement and uh, set some communication goals based on your resources and time plan and so forth. Uh, and bear another few things in mind as well. I'm going to talk about those uh, later on. So I'll get back to that. Uh, as we talked before, strategy, focus on one mar market at a time because that's so much easier to, to do results when it comes to communication. Uh, and of course, think of the uh, uh, conceptual execution there. Uh, can you use things that you have used before when it comes to communication? Or do you have to rework everything uh, because of, of the, the market might be different and the target audience might be different as well? So then you might uh, redo things. And um, when, I, when I do plans, and I, th I, I think as well, many other agencies uh, doing plans when it comes to media, for instance, we divide it up into three different parts. It's, uh, we talk about owned media, uh, which is all, all of the things that you can, uh, the channels that you, you own by yourself, like your, the, the your website and uh, brochures and stuff like that. Then we talk about earned media which is uh, exposure uh, if you have someone that, that uh, uh, a newspaper or whatever press releases that, and, and, you, and you can get exposed through that. 
also uh, bought media, which obviously then are uh, advertising and stuff like that. So you need a, a strategy for, for all these three. It's very useful. And uh, at last, I think uh, you, you, that is perhaps also one of the most important uh, uh, points here is, is to uh, evaluate and, uh, and find some measurement tools of your, so that you can uh, make sure that your communication is successful. And then you learn a lot uh, by, uh, by doing this when, you, when you're going to do it again. So this is perhaps a little bit too basic, but it's very easy just to forget this when you, <laughs> when you actually go out there. Uh, but uh, I found it very useful uh, when I work with, with customers and, uh, and, and try to stick to this very simple way of, of uh, work. Questions? OK. Um, I was talking about the things that it's good to bear in mind before. Uh, bear in mind that, that it's people that you're going to communicate with. So, uh, and market shares is nothing but places in people's minds. It's, uh, it's, it's easy to, to, to consider them as pie charts, right? But it's not. <laughs> so uh, keep in mind that you talk to people. And, uh, and it's, you, you can only communicate in terms, in, 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 their, in their terms. So, um, very, very important. And also, I think Mikael uh, talked about that there are so many different cultures out there. And uh, what we believe is fun and entertainment and, and, and smart communication might be very wrong <laughs> in different pl other places. So humor can be very different, for instance. So uh, can, uh, get to know your target group. Um, also, communication is proven to be uh, more efficient on its target language, of course. But bear in mind also that translations uh, can be very costly on many different markets. So decide if you can very early if you want to go with one language or many. Uh, because it can be uh, very time consuming as well, doing a lot of updates on your website in different languages and so forth. Perhaps it's good enough doing it in English. Uh, also, if, you, if you're going, if you have the money to do a bigger communication, uh, campaign or exp uh, it's smart to do some kind of pilot before you you spend all your money right to try the concept and, and the channels uh, if you can do that in a small scale to start with and, and then you can evaluate whether you want to change something later on 